What is up, everybody? Mikey Dear Panginator here with Hearts of Iron for the Great War. And it is great indeed. Uh, let's go construction. Okay, so we're about to have another. Okay, so yeah, we're, we're, we're already finished. Let's look um, like at getting some more military factories. And then what would we do? We would probably. Um, well, I mean, this is like the line we're building on. We have a lot of defensive lines. We don't really need defensive lines, I don't think. Uh, so we're gonna get let's get like let's get like that working. Just get a lot of military factories because I mean we we need that to equip our like extreme manpower army. Austria Hungary is just throwing themselves against the Italians. And we'll let them. Um, weren't there like twelve battles of the something oh, or whatever? But anyway, anyhow, we've actually kind of stalled in France. Has France... Oh, well, now the British are here, so that helps. And the French do have manpower, finally. Uh, and the British have a lot of manpower, so... Sweden won't join the war because they're a bunch of pieces of shit. Anyhow, where's France towards capitulation? Not enough. Well, mainly because they, they still have Paris. Which, you know what? All hands go take Paris. Like, just go for the jugular. Um, <coughs> yeah, now we have this army joining in. Which. We'll just tell them to go. Tell them to take Paris. And, okay, we took Paris. That kind of jumped a little bit, but not not as much as we would have hoped. The fall of Paris. While well, fighting still rages elsewhere in France, reports have come. Uh, in of German troops entering Paris. The capital was declared open city by French forces moments before their last retreat. Uh, several columns of German troops recreated the Prussian victory parade of 1871 by marching down the Champs Elysees while Parisians looked around in sun science. Military experts predict the collapse of France is imminent. That'd be nice. That would that'd be thoroughly enjoyable. Um, just we have a diplomatic actions can't progress. Oh, because we don't have enough political power. That's that's fair. Why do we have so... Oh. Are we boosting ideology? Cancel boost. Cancel boost popularity. There we go. That was costing five a day? Jesus. Well then. Pretty good we stopped then. Um, I think we're just kind of throwing men at them at this point. Wait, what? We don't have a... Oh. Yeah, everyone just kind of... Everyone stopped their assault. <coughs> New ruler for Egypt. Um, ooh. There we go. Salt, new Sultan of Egypt. So I think we'll take Versailles, then we'll just kind of chill out a little bit. Um, yeah. We're just gonna have everyone everyone stop, like especially here. Let's just stop. Just kind of regroup a little bit. Um, you know, production is our is kind of our biggest weakness. So we're we're just gonna let things let things happen. Um, try and hold the line here and. Well, of course, oh, we could probably, we should, probably should move these airplanes. We'll have them do that. Help out the Austrians on their front. No, don't retreat. Just, just stop. Just stop. Stop attacking. Okay. Who's attacking? Are these the Austro-Hungarians? Probably is. They're stupid enough to do this. But yeah, everyone else support who isn't. We'll take Versailles. Oh, it was because I wasn't unpaused. Well then, um, in terms of production, apparently we have a giant deficit. Well, I guess that's because we're trying to produce so many armies, but. Hey, that's why we're building a lot of military factories. Trying to get all of this squared away, so that's good. In terms of naval production, um, 
I mean, we're kind of getting there. Hopefully. How's everything going here? Ball Bismarck Sea. Northern France is in low supply. That's fair. Okay. Let's go back here. Logistics. There we go. That helps. Um, 1918. Let's get a. Uh, let's get radios. There we go. Try it to try and help out with that. We got a lot. Yeah. Here's here, we stalled because a lot of Brits and Italians showed up. So, yep. We're just gonna chill. Do they have a? Is this Paris like not connected? Like. Okay, so Paris is not on the front line. I'm like, why are we just leaving Paris open? We're not. We're, we're, um, doing things. Okay, so, yeah, we need a, um, we need a lot of shit. We need a lot of infantry equipment and field guns. Yeah, because we have a lot of manpower, but we also don't really want to waste it. Egypt is useless. Uh, <coughs> Egypt. Sweden is useless. Look at Austria Hungary. Damn, son. What are their 126 military factories versus less than us? But they also have 6 million men, which is about. They have a little bit more manpower than we do. Wow. That's pretty good. Support the whites in the Finnish Civil War. Am I going to start a war that no one else wants? That might be possible. Russia, Sweden, Finland. Random Baltic Islands. Oh, what could possibly go wrong? Okay. But yeah, we have um. Let's let's play a game called We Have a Stalemate on the Western Front. Where have we seen this before? I don't know. Only all of World War One, historically. So yeah, we need um. We need to get everyone. We need to build an equipment stock. I'm gonna put on speed four because that's kind of. In the in the cards, um, in terms of zeppelins, support whites and finished finished civil war. Let's look at the details. Oh, we um, we we, we did that. Okay. Um, should we do any of this? When we've done all of these focuses, full rearmament, political power, and army experience. No, more population, paramilitarism. I don't want to go. I kind of want to go down this line. I know massive effort. So let's go down rearmament. Uh, no, let's get the um, let's get equipment effort and all of those sorts of things. <coughs> so we're breaking in. You know, we're we're past November eleventh of nineteen eighteen. So World War One will definitely end later. But then again, it did start much later. Then historically, uh, then historically it was the case. Finnish Civil War, Reds versus Whites. Who do we support? Red Finland, White Finland, Republic of Finland. Okay, so we got some submarine. Uh, what should we do? Capital ship target focus. Con I think these should be mutually exclusive, but while they're not. I'm gonna do them. What is this? Ooh, let's get these guys here and get the zeppelins. But these guys, the these guys can go to northern France, which they can't reach. Let's actually go to Champagne and then get. Yep, that's better. Okay. Oh man, I can't wait till Death or Dishonor and the air improvements that come uh, come along at that same time. So, oh that's right, what the hell are you? You guys, oh y'all are like the breakthrough force. Let's have y'all come here. Yep. France is called the Hellenic Republic. Get them, Otto Bros. Oh no. The auto bros are um, a bit distracted. How many divisions do you have? 55. Not enough. Not enough. Luckily, the Russians are not going to be an issue for a while. Um, hopefully. Please. That'd be nice. Damn, our Zeppelins have long range. These. 
These are Zeppelins, yeah. Ooh. Star Strategic Bombing Southern France. Who's? Start Strategic Bombing England. That's what we need to do. Oh, yep. Yeah. Zeppelin raids over London. I should also unpause because that's important. Okay, yeah. This, this, no. We don't need this. If anything, do like, where would be good? Ostprusen. Built a lot of naval dockyards. Let's get, um, where else will we get a lot? Are these puppets of ours? Do you have puppets? These are puppets of ours. Damn. How'd we. Oh, that's probably the Treaty of. Yeah, the Treaty of Brest Or whatever. We got a lot of land. So did the. Uh, so did the. The Austrians. All right, well then, in that case, let's get some, let's get some, some dockyard in Hanover, and some Ulvesser M's, and then let's get some military factories in Poznan, and then in uh, there we go. Let's do like this, and while we're at it, let's um. Let's move our line up so where it's a longer river. It will be longer, but it will also be better. And then let's get some some regular forts along the line. Out here. Cause this is better than repairing shit, so we'll do this. Um, and we'll just have to double check on it every now and then to make sure it's doing what we want. Uh, should we release Poland? Maybe. I kind of like this whole German Empire like owning everything. I'm a big fan. So yeah, we're we're deep in the hole of infantry equipment. So we got bomb siding. What about this? Uh, what else can we get? Engineering? None of that till 1922. 1922. I could get resource gain efficiency and oil. Could get new planes. Could get new ships. I probably should get new ships, actually. Um, land auction, we're getting that. Artillery. Maybe I'll get siege artillery. Uh, maybe light tanks soon. Maybe I should get one of these. 1923. You know what? what were we, we, this is air doctrine. Let's continue down the air doctrine. <coughs> Might as well. Might as well. Oh, boy. Um... Gneissen. Is this what Gneissen now is named after? Maybe. I don't know. Possible. Say possible. So we're going to get a new tank. We're going to make that tank like amazing. Because we want our tank divisions to be amazing. Yeah, reinforcements are top priority. Which is probably why we're hurting on field guns and heavy tanks and support equipment. Scheisse. From Panzerwagen Oberschlesen. Okay, let's, um. I mean, this is our tank line, so. Let's look at getting some light tanks. I mean. Ooh. Let's, uh. Let's get. Let's get the support companies. And then let's go down. We, we do. We have double support equipment built. Why is that not being it? Okay, let's make this one better. Everything's like this. Main gun. Engine. Armor. Reliability. Main gun. <coughs> Engine. Reliability. Oh god. Um, 675. What about the main gun? Let's... I like this. Let's do this. Let's, um decommission the old one and then switch this to the new one fantastic okay so we did that we did that uh, it's because yeah well, it, it, it keeps flashing at us because we aren't building the newest models or whatever but 
Well, we got a stalemate on the Western Front. Except the Austro-Hungarians were just like, lol, what's manpower? But even though, yeah, they've lost millions of men to this point, we haven't. Um, but we also have to defeat a lot more people. So, yeah, we might have to, we're definitely going to have to focus on the Navy a lot more. A lot, a lot more. So we got eight battleships in the reserve fleet. How's the Asian fleet going? Well, the Asian fleet is like a shell of its former, former self because it got everything like destroyed. So, you really do hate to see that. But at the same time, it's whatever. What can you do? Okay. So, field of manpower losses. Yeah, we just don't have as much manpower fielded as they do. And it's going to be a problem. Ooh, more military factories. What do we need? Well, we need tanks. Shit, we just need more infantry. Let's, let's get that cranking. <coughs> Let the new military factories go into that. Um, show updated equipment. Just, just do all of this, but don't show updated equipment. And don't build this shit. So, don't build the outdated shit. Oh, boy. And we're not going to slow up on these because, I mean, we want them. Just damn, the production in World War One just isn't as good. It's a problem. Okay, so. So, he wants to send more volunteer forces? Absolutely. Waste your manpower on our wars. Are y'all even at war? Yeah, do you even have any detail divisions? You have two, you have zero. How have you lost land? <coughs> I guess Soviet volunteers. Whatever. Republic of Finland versus Red Finland. And Nick Cage looking dude. Okay. So. It's quite interesting if you ask me. Um, we are building a lot of this, so that's very good. <coughs> we are going to have to be concerned about how we're going to build up our navy although i guess what would probably be best is to um just rebuild the fleets we have like our asian fleet that'd be nice um we kind of need some more convoys so that that's always good um like let's look at our our ships we're we're producing a lot of ships a lot of ships so there we go with all that. What are our Soviet volunteers doing? They're guarding our ports for us. That's that's nice. That's nice, Lenin. Thank you so much for that. So, <coughs> damn this. I'm going to turn the cough. But that's actually all the time we have for this episode. There are just a lot of divisions in France. Um, I know someone who was commenting was having a similar problem where Japan just dumped divisions into the Western Front. So, Western Front has stalled. We have taken Paris. But the French have moved their capital to Cherbourg, probably so they can GTFO it to the UK as soon as possible. But what we have for now is we are trying to, of course, reinforce everybody. Um, and we just need a lot more equipment, so we will work on producing that. But anyways, that's all the time we have for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Up to see you on the next one. But until then, this is Kaiser Panginator signing out. See ya, nerds. Thank you.